right guys, so we are headed to Bacon, I'm gonna just say Bacon B. Um, I do not want this to get flagged, so that's the name of the restaurant. Brother and his girlfriend came out here like a couple weeks before us, and they said the restaurant was good. They have like really good breakfast in the morning, so that's what we're going to be trying today. I'm actually hungry, and I know we don't get hungry in the mornings, but I am actually hungry today. This is Jesse Offit, ain't it cute guys? I like his shirt. But this is like my outfit here. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see it in this car, but I will show you guys how that looks when I get out of the car. Yesterday, we just got really tired. Sorry that I did not like explain a lot yesterday. It's just cause it was just really tired. So th this is day three. Today is Thursday. So we leave Saturday afternoon. So yeah, this is day three. Gosh, these days are going by so fast. But yesterday we did so much, like we crashed out. I think we got back to the hotel like at eight. But I was just so exhausted, I didn't want to do anything. And then we kind of woke up a little bit late. I woke up at seven, like exactly at seven o'clock this morning. But um, I didn't want to get up. I was tired and I woke Jesse up and I asked him did he want to get up and go somewhere. He said that let him sleep in, so I was like, okay, I let him sleep in. So I, I ended up sleeping in too. And I woke up and I was like, okay, like what time is it now? Like let's go ahead and get up, cause I know that bacon. I'm again, I'm gonna just say bacon B. They get really crowded in the morning, so I wanted to get there early. But I, I mean, if we have to wait, we just have to wait, hey guys. I'll let you guys know. I'll be trying to record this whole experience and. We'll be headed. Bye.
Jesse, it's about to rain. Ready, so it is raining right now. This Miami weather is just so bipolar. But this is what I'm wearing. I am like so tired, guys. But this is so cool, y'all. It's like a little swing. I love it. All right, guys. So we are headed to Hook Rail. Uh, was it Hook Rail? A Cajun seafood bar pretty much I just looked it up the closest one by me and I wanted some seafood boil Jesse don't really like seafood boil but I really had a taste for it and we went back to the hotel after like the beach earlier today just because I really wasn't feeling it and it was nothing else to do I, I would say it's nothing else to do but it was just nothing else that I wanted to do I was just exhausted so we went back to the hotel like at five o'clock and we've been there for like two hours and we're back out again to uh, go out to eat. How's your day been going? Tired. Yeah, Jesse's really tired and we've been doing a lot like back and forth. We don't stay at locations too long because we're just trying to like see everything. We have about like another full day and then Saturday we head out chilling out at this point. I kind of was able to see everything I wanted to see I think at this point it's only about we're, we're gonna go tomorrow we're gonna be going to the speedboat and I'll take you guys along with me um, but after the speedboat I'm not for sure what we're gonna do hey guys I don't want to hold you guys up but yeah that's what we're pretty much gonna be doing so I'll talk with you guys later bye oh it started recording ah the noise I hate that noise. It's like a squeaky noise. Yep. <laughs> this this camera is so small. That's the whole point. It's easy to Compa carry. Compared to that guy that had it like at that. Yeah, I wanted series. to buy a camera like that, but I was like, it's gonna be too much to try to carry. That's like ten times the size of this one. All right. So this is the coconut shrimps. <laughs> you would like it. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty, good morning. So, bright bright colors I want to bring I wanted to dress like Miami people you know with the bright colors but um this is just the OTD outfit we're headed to Bayside uh, we will be going to the Thriller Miami Speedboat pretty soon um, pretty much it starts at 1245 so we are gonna need to get there at least an hour early and our hotel is a distance from Miami only reason why we got a hotel a little bit away from Miami was because Miami for some reason they don't have places like free parking um, and the parking is like $30 a night which I thought wasn't even worth it so pretty much we are just gonna need to uh, head there just a little bit earlier um, so that's why we have to wake up um, earlier today but um, Jesse didn't want to sleep in so we pretty much that's what we did we kind of slept in just a little bit and then I was like okay, I need to wake up because I know it takes me longer to get ready um, so I woke up that way um, I wasn't the one holding up the time from leaving so all right guys well I will let you know when we get to Bayside alrighty talk to you later
went back to the house of Mac, but we tried the different location. We're still waiting. But pretty much we got off the boat as y'all saw in the last scene. That is very fun. So I recommend to go to Thriller Miami Speedboat. Definitely recommend it. It was so fun. It was a 10 out of 10 for me and Jesse. And then after that, we were supposed to be going to the Aquarian, but we just been having like off and on luck and bad luck off, like just off and on this whole entire trip. So Jesse got pulled over by the policeman and he ended up getting a ticket and they did not give him a warning even though we tried to explain that we did not understand the roads, but he was just a, he was just a really big jerk honestly like the policeman and like i'm not even talking about every policeman but he was like telling jesse like are you stupid like i told you to go straight and jesse was like he was jesse was trying to back up so he didn't hit the car and he's like you have enough room like just go straight and, you know he was just giving him attitude and then jesse was trying to he was like asking jesse for his registration like the insurance and his license and he was telling him like Jesse, there you go. His license and his insurance, and we were trying to tell him like this is a rental car, like he doesn't have any of that information, like he has his ID, but that's it. And it's like the guy was giving him a hard time, but it's like, what do you want us to do? Like we're not from here, like we we don't know what to give you. So that was kind of like a horrible experience, and he kind of told Jesse like stop the car, like he was about to tell Jesse to like to get out the car, and I was like, oh my gosh, like. This is too much. I was just like, I can't like deal with this. So I told Jesse like, let's just get something to eat and go back to the hotel because first of all, like I have already told y'all guys, Miami, they drive so bad out here. Like I'm not even playing. We have gotten hit, like almost hit multiple times. They just, they just cannot drive out here, so. We are trying to go back to the hotel. I don't know what else we're going to do today. I'm trying not to let that ruin our trip, but it's not even just the policeman issue. It's just people cannot drive, and I don't even think we should even take the chance and, like, be driving it all through Miami. Like, pretty much it. We'll talk with you guys later. All right? Bye. Oh, if you wonder where Jesse's at, he is actually about to get in the car right now. And that's Jesse. He's on the phone with, I think, his cousin or something. So, yeah. I will talk with you guys later, though. Hi. Y'all, I'm going to show y'all how bad Miami drive. Like, y'all didn't even get to see everything. But these people cannot drive. Like, y'all think we'll be playing. Now they acting normal now. <laughs> they acting normal now. After they got the camera out. <laughs> After oh. I pulled the camera out. Like, oh, camera's out. Everybody driving <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna record somebody in my car. I'm gonna record because if you cannot drive, it's, everybody started getting over to the left lane it's, like it's any room left. This bus was in the last lane. He went, just skipped everyone and went to the second lane. That's pretty crazy. Crazy. Yeah, you know, these people cannot drive. I'm so ready to go. So we're supposed to be headed to the beach now. It's a beach like right there by our hotel. So we're gonna go there. I haven't got a chance to go to the beach. We went to the beach twice in Miami. I'm getting tired of going to that beach. <laughs> Parking is super expensive for no reason. So I'm about to show y'all how bad they drive. Watch. I know somebody gonna mess up. I know somebody gonna mess up. I know they are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all. Trying to get back over, which I'm not understanding why he got his butt over to the left lane in the first place. Hey, you see how the bus just be forcing their way over when they could have just been. Red light Another red light. Oh, look, 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 look. He just did that. He went from here to here with the red light. Yep, no I got it way. on camera. No fucking way. I got it on camera. That's <laughs> an example of how bad they drive out here. All right. It's so much nicer here. Just well, they take care of their stuff. They. That's why the sand looks so much cleaner. Cause they have a policy of not. But we should do that one time. You see how they have a camping gear? We should take the kids to the beach and, um, 
you know, take them to the beach, the other beach, you know, at, at, in Texas, uh -huh. and put a camping thing. That way, we can be at the beach and the kids will get hot. This is the hotel, so this is the door. They have like a living room section. We're about to leave, We're about to check out the hotel, but I forgot to show y'all the hotel. <clears throat> they have like a little desk area here and like a refrigerator. And I don't, this is just for extra stuff. Me. They have the TV that can go left or right the king size bed and they already had this which I was worried about how I'm gonna charge up all of my plugs the vanity a closet and an iron which is great to have an iron and then my OTD outfit and then they have a blow dryer if you really want to get comfortable and a full size mirror and a shower but today's the last day I'm not for sure what we're gonna do I did not put my eyelashes on today because it's gonna take too long and I ain't trying to be here all day so that's my outfit. Um, I don't know where we're gonna go, but we're gonna go somewhere and I'm gonna show y'all. So we're probably gonna get something to eat for sure. I just don't know where yet. But I do know we need to be checking out of the hotel soon. So I'll talk with you guys later. All right guys, so we are at Miami Zoo. Uh, waiting for Jesse to get out the bathroom. But we decided to go here and then after this, we're gonna be going to go get something to eat. But um, pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. And then we're going to be headed to the airport after we're done. All right, see you guys.
Let's go, guys. Let's go, family. Let's go. Let's go, team. 